The data map connections between the Microsoft Excel rows and SysML blocks that we created in the previous demonstration support compare and update functionality. That is, as one or both models change, Syndea can identify discrepancies between the models and allow the user to update them in either direction. In this video, we will show how to do this. We will start with the SysML model, where we have pulled in three rows from the Components table in Excel to create blocks, specializations of the component block. Under the Connection Summary tab on the Syndea dashboard, we see four connections, including the one from the component block. Under the Connection Browser, we right-click the top-level package, Excel Tutorial Demo, and select Compare, SysML, and Target. The Comparison Result tab opens, and all is green. No differences at this point. Now we will start making changes. Assume that the system engineer has learned from test that the thermal camera mass is actually larger than specified, 5 kilograms. She changes its default value in the SysML model. At the same time, the component engineer has added a new component to the Excel workbook, a photometer, and updated a reduced cost from the payload controller manufacturer, $40. The addition of the new row to the table requires us to make a change in Excel before the new component is visible to Syndea. We have to edit the size of the named table component to include the additional row. We also save the changes to Excel and close the Excel file. Now in the Connection Manager tab in the Syndea dashboard, we can refresh the right side and the new photometer component shows up. Moving to the Connection Browser, we will do a compare operation on the Payload Controller connection. We see a difference in the cost value. We can compare all the connections at one time by launching Compare from the top-level package. and we see both the payload controller and thermal camera differences. To update the SysML model with a new payload controller price, we select that connection in the connection browser and right-click to update target, in this case the Excel model, to SysML. To update the Excel spreadsheet with the new thermal camera mass, we choose the reverse. Sync SysML to target. Now our comparison across the entire package shows green. Our objective in this example was to merge the changes, preserving changes on both sides so we couldn't launch a sync operation from the top-level package. That would have resolved all of the differences in favor of one side or the other. By updating at the individual block level, we have greater control of which changes are propagated. 